Boom shakalaka, what is going on everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today we're talking about Solana. Why? Because in less than a year, it's done more transactions than Ethereum could do in eight and a half years. So if you want to find out more, stay tuned. What's up everybody, Randall here. Today we're talking about Solana and all their interesting stuff like proof of history and what is that. But before we get into that, thank you to all you guys for watching. Thank you for liking the video. It helps out the algorithm. Subscribing helps build the channel. Let's get to 100,000 subscribers. Also, click the notification bell. And if you want to win up to $1,000 of Bitcoin a month, you could join these folks over on Patreon where we're giving away $1,000 of Bitcoin a month. Plus, we hang out on Discord. We have special videos for them over there. So, you can do all that stuff. Now, about Solana. This is a project that maybe got some attention before, but honestly, I think it hasn't gotten that much attention yet considering what it can do. Now, what does Solana do? Well, it has super fast transaction times, 50,000 TPS. It could handle everything that Visa sees. This blockchain here could be used for every Visa transaction, period. You only need one blockchain, one and done. Now, con compare that to Ethereum that, needs, that takes 15 transactions per second. It's orders of magnitude greater. Block times uh, about 453 milliseconds, and about 178 global validators. It's a web scale blockchain for fast, secure, scalable, decentralized apps and marketplaces. Now it's got a lot of people in the ecosystem like Chainlink, like Civic, like Arweave, a bunch of other ones you might have heard of. And basically the biggest thing about Solana is one of these core innovations called proof of history. And I'm gonna have a video at the end of this you can watch that explains proof of history in more detail for those of you who want to understand it but basically it's taking snapshots along the time and that sends it out to all the different nodes so basically they can know from that snapshot what's going on on the entire blockchain without having to communicate with each different node so it's pretty awesome in terms of what's going on there they have a bunch of other stuff they're using a tower byzantine fault tolerance a bunch of other stuff there including sea level pipeline cloud break archivers Gulfstream, and turbine i guess i could tell you what they are but you could just as well read them and they're aiming to build basically the next best blockchain out there, having team members from all over. Now, one of the cool things about Solana, you can help secure the ledger, you can earn Solana tokens. You don't have to go out and buy them, but if you did, you could find them on Binance, you could find them potentially on Crypto.com or Coinbase. I did see some stuff about them on there, but you could find them pretty much all over and you could get yourself some Solana tokens. If you didn't wanna buy them, you could become a validator and you could stake them and you could earn them. I mean, if we take a look at this, over 1.5 billion transactions processed since March 2020, the fastest blockchain in the world, it costs not a cent, not a tenth of a cent or a hundredth of a cent, but a thousandth of a cent per transaction. That means for like a million transactions, it costs you $10 or something like that. Hunt over 130 global validators, I told you about that. They even gamify it with Tor to Soul. You could register. It's an incentivized testnet event. You could participate in that and earn some Soul tokens. Now, their token, the Soul token, it's two rings. I love how they do this whole gradient thing. Gradients are super popular right now, especially these like blue-purple gradients. Absolutely love it. Built, built on a rock solid foundation for Web 3.0. So let's take a look at everything they're involved with. So it's on Ledger, on Coinbase Custody, on Trust Wallet, on Crypto.com, Binance Exchange, Hummingbot for Liquidity, also FTX, BitMax, BitHome, a bunch of other stuff. So very involved. And if we want to take a look at some really cool stuff, we could head over here to solanabeach.io. This takes a look and shows you where all the validators are all over the globe. And it tells you the current leaders and it tells you the slot height, the slot time. But also if you want to take a look, it tells you about the circulating supply, the stake, the current TPS and what's going on with that different stuff. But also if you want to take a look at the validators, you could see who's winning once this loads. You could see it there. You could see who's winning in terms of validators, and you could even become one and start earning soul tokens. Now, seems like a cool project. I mean, there were other projects that toted, touted large amounts of transactions per second. What was that big one that, I, I don't know, there was a big scam on, darn, I think from Russia. Forget the name of it right now. But if we take a look at what's going on with the price of Solana right now, this is why I bring it up, potentially. Because there was a huge run-up. Okay, from May until August, the price went up quite a bit 
from around 6265 Satoshis to around 42,000 Satoshis. It's 7x. But guess what? We've pulled back to potentially the 38.2 FIB. Now that's a very, very strong FIB support level, 38.2. Not only that, but also it was former resistance right here and almost support right there. So this is a very important level. Plus, depending upon where you put these support lines with the earlier trends, you could potentially have a little bit of support being found right here. So interesting levels for Solana right now. Price could rebound from that. I mean, it tapped down, price went back up. If it taps down again and then goes up past the 50 FIB, that's a double bottom. And then the price would have like a 97% chance of 40% gains, which would probably bring us around to the 61.8 FIB, if not higher. The other thing to take a look at on token metrics, taking a look at it here, they do have actually the price predicted to be higher than where it is. The price right now is around 250. They have it up to 350. So a whole dollar, almost a 30% gains they're predicting. Now, overall, token metrics doesn't think too highly of Sedona. They give it a Solana, they give it a poor technology, 60%, technical analysis, 67%, fundamentals, 57%. But I think this is a big contender for projects like Ethereum. I mean, Ethereum will do great. It has Ethereum 2.0 to go for, but this one blockchain alone could handle all of Visa's transactions. So something worth thinking about, something to take a look at yourself, I'm not telling you to buy, but take a look at it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you later. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and join us over on Patreon. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Peace. Proof of history enables the blockchain to work fast while maintaining security and decentralization. Here's an analogy. If snapshots of dye diffusion were scrambled, you would know how to place the resulting images in order again because of the laws of entropy as a function of time. Proof of history uses a recursive verifiable delay function to hash incoming events and transactions. Every event has a unique hash and count along this data structure as a function of real time. This information tells us what event had to come before another, almost like a cryptographic timestamp, giving us a verifiable ordering of events as a function of time. Each node gets a cryptographic clock that helps the network agree on time and ordering of events without having to wait to hear from other nodes. Unlike slower, traditional blockchains, oftentimes throttled by various consensus mechanisms, Solana achieves high throughput without sacrificing network security. Visit Solana.com to learn more.